Com here for the King of the Hill Classic in Hans Ranch, Colorado. We're at Valor Christian High School, about ready for our third game. We got the Chap Chaparral Varsity team going against Colorado Connect Elite. And we're just about to tip off this one. Chaparral Varsity is led by head coach Mike Kuhn. And we should have a good high-flying game here today. Luke, both these teams like to get up and down and run the run the run the court but I was talking to coach Mike Kuhn for Chaparral they're missing three starters so might not be what it should be Chaparral definitely handicapped in this one they're only going to use six guys we've seen that strategy before early on in this tournament and it didn't work out so well for Northridge And there's the tip. And Colorado Connect will win the tip. And we are underway. Right side now. Colorado, Elite will, Colorado Connect, excuse me, will turn around, go for the alley-oop. Can't connect. That alley-oop was wide open. He needed to put that one home. And Chaparral will get things going. Right side now, dribble drive, baseline. Bounce pass now, left side for three. No good. Rebound by Colorado Connect. Dribble drives, takes it all the way to the basket with the right hand off the glass for a nice finish. Jalen Davis. And the Connect team looking to get out and run. As I, I recognize a couple of these Connect players from some of the high schools when I was broadcasting high school basketball in the winter. So some of these guys can light it up here today, Luke. Chaparral with a wild shot, can't get it to go, but they get the offensive rebound. Left corner for three, and it's good. Number 30, Cole Lil Lelman, gives Chaparral the lead early on. Chaparral with the turnover now. They'll try and get things going on offense. Left side now is Lelman again with a wide open shot. Can't get that one to go. The Chaparral team needs to try to connect on every basket. An opportunity they have is their one man short, like we've mentioned. It's Jalen Davis with the fadeaway. Nice shot for him. He has all four buckets for the connect so far. Chaparral's three, can't get it to go. And Colorado Elite's out and running again now, left side. Jones with it now, dribbles, drives, takes it all the way to the basket. In and out, can't get it to go, rebound by Chaparral. Thought that was gonna go down. But it was just somehow found its way back out. <laughs> it was halfway down somehow. Just didn't go. Chaparral now setting up their offense. Lowman turnaround jumper. Can't get the roll. Inside now backing down. Gets it to go off the glass. Nice finish. Get in it. Get in it. Get your hands up. As Isaac Brown. He he's a well-known scorer in the high school ranks him and Schwindemann could light it up at any notice. Chase Kuhn with the take there. Can't get it to go, but he'll go to the free throw line for two. Kuhn's first attempt. Gets it to go. And Chase Kuhn, I was when I was talking to the head coach, Mike Kuhn, he let me know that uh, he has about three or four different scholarship offers on the table for basketball. Mostly Division II, but anywhere you could go for basketball, it's a great story. Kuhn's gonna be a big player in this one. Chaparral needs him as they only have six guys playing, missing three starters. Show Left side now. Show a presence. Show a presence. Passes it inside, right elbow now, kicks it out left side for three. Off the back rim, can't get it to go. Loose ball now, and Chaparral's off and running with the layup. Nice block. Oh, and it still went in. And somehow, the ball finds the way, finds its way into the basket. That was nice hustle defense back by the connect and just blocked it in for him, it seemed like. <laughs> the let go of the three, doesn't go. Rebound by Chaparral. Kuhn will set things up. Kuhn's got left wing, he's gonna kick it out left side. Now inside, shot is up and good. 
Spencer Shemin gets the basket to go. Nice shot there by number 12. Kuhn with it now right side. He'll pass over in the corner. Bounce pass inside. It's going to be blocked. And Colorado Lee will start things up now. The connect size, I think, is going to come into play later on in the game. They're just going to wear down the Chaparral team with no substitutes. Uh, just going to suck the energy right out of them. Colorado Connect Elite coming into this one. They've definitely got the size advantage. See if they outmuscle the Chaparral team and try and wear them down. I want to thank Fantastic Sam's, one of our advertisers here. They offer more than haircuts. They include shampoo. They do steam towel and neck shaves. They color everything. They do facial waxing. Walk in or call ahead, 9567 South University, D103. They're right next to Subway. Give them a call, 303-683-4086. Gavin gets the second free throw to go. Kuhn with it. Left side now. Shot is up, no good. Rebound by Colorado Elite. Colorado Elite coach screaming for them to push the ball up the court. Nice inside pass. And we got a whistle. Foul's going to go against number 25, Chuck Sheik. Or excuse me, Tyler Sheik. It'll be Colorado Elite ball. Nice hustle there by the Connect. Henderson with it now. Throw it inside to Gavin. Gavin makes a move, pump fakes, gets his own rebound, and puts it off the glass and in. Great take there by Gavin. Right side now. Skip pass now, top of the three-point line. Right side now, dribble drives. Kick out left side, three is up and good. Nothing but net. As number five, Patrick Moody. Yeah, Patrick Moody uh, barely got here in time for the game. Their one sub off the bench. But I think these Chaparral players are a little bit more familiar with each other. They've probably been playing together probably for years, you think, in the minor leagues, let's say, to the high school level. Lots of team chemistry on the Chaparral team. Should be a benefit as this one continues to play out. Kuhn with it. Bounce pass right side. Three is up and good. Moody again. Back-to-back -back shots, he's heating up. Yeah, he's feeling it. Quick six points into the game and has his team up 15-13. Gonna dribble drive pass out right side. They let a three go and it's gonna be an air ball. Rebound by Moody. I think they might have got a little bit of a piece of that ball. Not, can really see from this angle. Looking inside, pump fakes goes up. Can't get it to go too hard off the backboard. It's a nice up and under for the Chaparral player, but he needs to finish that right there, or at least draw a foul when you're that close down low. Colorado Lee will maintain possession. Right side. Skip pass, drive left side, baseline. Step back, shot doesn't go, rebound by Chaparral. Moody with it now. The Connect need to hit the boards a little bit harder than they've started off this game. Kuhn yeah, trying to... Sorry, Luke. Oh, you're fine. Kuhn just trying to set up the offense. Yeah, I was just about to say they have the size. They need to box out and make sure they get a majority of the rebounds here as they have it so far in this first half. Great take inside. 
by number 35, Andrew Joyner. This Connect team not lacking on the offensive end. That's where the defensive end is where they're going to have to win this game today. Kuhn with it now with it. Let's go a deep three. Can't get to go off the back rim. Let's go a three. Yes, Nothing but net. Big shot there, and that will give him the lead, 18-15. Joyner coming in, heating up for the connect. Another three. That time by Lellman, and he gets a go, and both teams are firing on all cylinders. He comes right back and answers with his second three of the game. So far, Chaparral already has four three-pointers early on in this matchup. Left side now, inside the post. Puts on the floor, spin move, goes up with the left hand. The shot's going to be blocked. The whistle was blown. Uh, it looked like he got mostly ball, maybe a little bit part of that hand that he got there. Is where they called the foul on. Nonetheless, right, will go to the line. We're tied at 18 with just under nine and a half minutes to go in this first half. I want to thank one of our sponsors, Kicking Wings, located off 4990 Kipling, right off of I-70 in Kipling. Make sure to go check them out. Some of the hottest wings in town. They have specials going. Buy 12 orders of 50-piece wings. Receive the 13th free. They have a little card going there. If you're in the area, make sure to check them out. They've had some chicken wing eating contests there with KBPI. It's going to be Chaparral ball now. And Colorado Connects is going to come out in the full court press. Let's see how this works for them, see if they could tire out the Chaparral team and come up with some key baskets here. They're able to break the press now. Dribbles tries right side, tries to pass it inside, and it's going to be stolen. Let's go a three, no good. Rebound by Chaparral. A little bit of a heat check there for Joyner as he's hitting back-to-back -back shots and then missed that one. Kuhn tries to go up with the left hand and he's gonna be fouled. It looked like a clean block right there by, by Isaac Brown who drew the foul. Referee not thinking so. Kuhn will try and get things going now as his team trails by one. That free throw ties the ball game up at 19 apiece with 7.45 to go in this first half. Color Connect's been good offensively, just haven't been able to stop this Chaparral offense so far. What do you think Colorado Connect needs to do defensively? They need to close out on the three-pointers after the pick and roll or when they're rotating, they need to close out on the three-point shots better as 12 of the 20 points Chaparral has are off three-pointers. You shut down the three-pointers, things will start opening up for them. Left side now, fade away, tries to go off the glass, no good, rebound down low, no good, rebound, trying to tip it in, someone's gotta grab it. It's gonna be Chaparral ball. And Colorado Connect's gonna get a timeout as we'll step away from a few minutes here on CoachesAid.com, we'll be right back. Welcome back to CoachesAid.com, home of the Amateur Sports Broadcasting Network. We've got a tight one so far in this first half between Chaparral and Colorado Connect. Chaparral leads by one. Yeah, that's pretty surprising from what we've seen in a little bit of play. Chaparral has had more turnovers, but Connect not able to finish them and allowing them to shoot open threes like that is what's gotten the Connect in trouble. Loose ball now. And the Connect.